So let's jump on to our next story. These auto-focusing glasses. Yeah. So the uh, Vic, Vixion, V-I-X-I-O-N-O-1 glasses. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, uh, they're, they're a new type of eyewear that uses a front-facing time-of-flight sensor, which measures the distance of a target object and quickly adjusts the lens on the go. So it allows the wearer to see objects clearly at both far and close distances without having to manually focus their eyes. Um, the glasses apparently were designed for people who struggle to focus their eyes due to strain, old age, or even time of day. Uh, but they can also be beneficial for people who work on detailed tasks, such as model kit assembly or reading small print. I know I have trouble reading small print nowadays, so that would be helpful. Um, apparently, they're lightweight, comfortable to wear. They have a 10-hour battery life, charge via USB-C, and they're water-resistant. Um, and they're currently available for pre-order, I think, for, I think it's around $700. Um, but that's just in Japan. There's... They're, they didn't talk about any plans for an overseas launch just yet. So it talks about this person who was demoing it had myopia around negative 45D. And now I don't negative 4.5D. Sorry. I don't quite understand how bad or good that is. But does this mean that I can use these instead of my glasses? I no, I don't think so because I think that um, they're not current. Well, hold on, let me see, let me rephrase that. They're not currently available with a prescription lens, so that means that people who need corrective lenses will not be able to use the glasses. So, I, I, I'm not, I'm not an optometrist, so I'm not sure what the like. If you need cheaters, I think that's what they're called. This might help with cheaters. I don't know. Um, but, um, yeah, apparently, they, if you need prescription lenses, this, this isn't for you, apparently, right now. So these go about 690 US by the looks of it. Um, I'm, and the lens looks small. Like, I'm looking at this. You see the picture on the screen. Yeah. Uh, you have to look through that small of a thing. Well, you're not going to notice it when it's right up at right up at your eyes. The thing I'm worried about, I though, guess so, as yeah. I've been, I, I I just saw a video the other day on 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 TikTok on people who wear glasses and that you shouldn't wear your glasses all the time if you don't have to. Like if you have, if you only need them for reading, only use them for reading because apparently your eyes get lazy, and so the more you wear them, the more the the worse your vision could get, and that's what I'm worried about with these things. Yeah, and I don't know. I have I look left to right with my eyes. I'm not always looking straight forward. So I guess it's for small. I'm just trying to figure out who it's for because it's not for mm -hmm. casual wear by the sound of it. Because your peripheral vision will suffer looking at those lenses. Like it, there's going to be a circle somewhere you can't. So it, it's for people doing focused work in like with something in yeah. front of them. Maybe for driving reading um i would say not i don't know i yeah. i i haven't tried them on but this looks like it would interfere with your peripheral vision yeah um this isn't one that i'm really too excited about but i do think that like it, it seems like there's some use cases for it again like there's thousands of products that get released at ces every year and and not not every product makes it uh is successful right and um, but again, we're no experts. There, there, no, there must be a use case because they've they've gotten this to a, a a place where they're where they can sell it in Japan, right? So there must be there must be a demand for it. I could see like if you're a dentist, you know they have the or you know anything where you're small work artist that kind of stuff. But it seems like a limited use case. And but yeah. again, this is in its infancy. If you could actually make the lenses smaller, but cover the whole glass um my disappointment with things like apple vision which is coming out soon uh yeah. is that you've got to get spe if you have glasses you have to get specialized lenses put built specifically for this put inside them yeah. and at this point i feel like 
with this type of electronics and you're talking about a screen close to you, why can't we build my eye problem into the software? You know what I mean? That this, this ha has to be pixelated at a certain level where my right eye is slightly different. My eyes are different. There you go. Prescription. Um, but my point being is why isn't software doing this? And I think this is a step yeah. in the right direction for, we're going to eventually have universal glasses that just adjust to my eyes. So I can just go to do, do and get it clear and off I go. But I don't know how far that is. I, I think this is a leap. Yeah. I'm interested in seeing like we need this type of technology in any sort of the VR glasses uh, that people want us to use so that glass enabled people can wear them. Otherwise it's, it's going to be a hard, hard sell. And I, 100% agree with you on that. I find my, the more I use my glasses, the more blurry things are when I take them off. And it just becomes, you're right, it, it's it's la it's lazy. And more so with my newer glasses, because my other glasses were, um, they were a little wide in the head, so they kept slipping off. So I would only put them on when I needed them versus walk. And now I notice I wear these all the time, and I notice a big difference when I take them off. For sure. Yeah, I think so. There is technology out there um, that I think they're using it in cell phones right now. They're liquid lenses, which can be adjusted. Right. And I think that if we get to that technology, if we can scale that to glasses, that's where we're going to get the adjustable, adjustable lenses, real time adjustable lenses that are clear that look just like regular glasses. What do you think some of the potentials are beyond vision correction like we've been talking about? Um, beyond vision correction, like the, 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 there's like, I, I don't know. Um, it could be used for bird, <laughs> bird watching maybe, um, so that you don't need binoculars. Who knows? Like, I, is there a zoom on these? I'm not sure. Um, if there is, that's great. Um, that could be used. Um, it could be used for, uh, enhanced productivity. So eliminating the need to, which is weird, but like. Like it's kind of making people lazy, eliminating the need to manually focus the eyes. So you could potentially stay focused on tasks for longer periods of time. Um, obviously, it, it, it's going to make it easier to uh, work on a computer because uh, with different um, um, with different size fonts, different uh, resolutions, things like that. Um, but I have a question for you. Um, when you're working on your computer, do you use dark mode or do you use light mode or do you mix between the two? Um, my computer automatically switches at a certain time. Okay. So I always goes, use dark uh, mode. I find it much better for, for, for eye strain at least. Um, it looks more yellowy and I don't like that look. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So, oh, okay. Well, I'm thinking, um, I'm not necessarily thinking dark mode. I'm thinking, what was that where they stop using oh, the blue light and they the switch? To, uh, no, they've oh. added in these things that the blue light what keeps you up. So they've added yeah. software in them in the last few years to you can adjust the blue light so everything goes a little bit different. But yeah, what you're yeah. saying, um, I'm makes, just saying dark, like a dark background with white yeah. font. Yeah, definitely. I it depends. It depends what I'm doing. Yeah. I prefer dark mode on a lot of apps, but there's some apps yeah. I don't. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, if if they're doing it right, but yeah, I agree. Absolutely. Yeah. Like right now, I'm using Streamyards here. I don't think it it's not in dark mode. I've got a yeah. uh, uh, Google Doc in the background, not in dark mode. But I got drafts in dark mode and two other apps in dark mode. <laughs> So, you know, it, it, I definitely use that. I try to use that in the evenings because I have sleeping issues so that, you know, when I'm looking at a computer in the evening, it's not blasting me full of that stuff. But yeah. this stuff looks interesting. I like the idea of, you know, adding something like this eventually to our R1 type of AI where you're just looking around and it's, yeah. it can automatically respond like you were saying. So, this is is there's no heads up display in this. It's just an auto focusing magnification of some sort. So if you're reading and you're struggling, you can um, see the letters more clear, like having a magnifying glass or rolling one of those. Uh, remember, you just have those magnifying 
rulers that you'd roll over yeah. your stuff with you on yeah. the desk, yeah, things like that, where you can see more. Uh, I know once in a while I have to use my camera on my iPhone to take a picture of something, and then I'll blow up the picture to read it because my eyes, I can't read whatever this <laughs> is. Yeah, so, so this I, can be used for, for that, right? Absolutely, but it's seven hundred dollars, right? So you have to be needing that a fair bit. So this is great first run. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting. We'll have to see what the next steps of this types of technology is. Yeah, the, the, there's a few. Yeah, so yeah, I think the biggest problem with with these that they're facing is the battery life. So if you're going to use it for the whole day, if you need to use it for the whole day, they only last for ten hours, right? So um, there's no charging case or anything like that. So we'll have to. Uh, we'll have to see. Um, we'll have to see how they. I'm curious as to why the battery capacity is only is only ten hours, based on the usability of it. Right? Is it because they're constantly adjusting? Is that why? I'm guessing. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It's an interesting question because they're not little screens in there. It's optics, no. right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So I know the time of flight lens at the at the camera at the at the front is gonna is constantly on, but that can't drain too much battery. Maybe. But we've talked about different battery technologies. That's improving. I'm sure yeah. once they they uh, figure out a powered case, then that becomes less of an issue, and the battery life on these things become once you can put it in a case for a half hour and get fully charged or come close to it, you're good. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah it'll be interesting like there, there are there are other use cases too like gaming you could create a more immersive virtual reality experience or see objects in the game more clearly um surgeons could use it to see more clearly during surgery i think that would be a great use case surgeries well there are some that last 10 hours but most are under 10 hours so there there's a lot a lot of different use cases for sure Absolutely. At the beginning, I mentioned dentists or but doctors. Yeah, yeah, going in there when they're looking inside you, doing different anything like that, uh, where you're you have to focus on something and adding a little logic to this, where you can actually folk get it to zoom in on something or someone in a crowd or in a, uh, I guess in a doctor's on an organ <laughs> or whatnot yeah. would be very useful. And like I said, this is a really cool technology yeah. um it's just not you know what i want yet yeah i no. want the third or fourth generation down the road from this that i don't have to buy new glasses again because it, autom it automatically adjusts or i'll i can run a program to automatically adjust it or whatever like your printer where you know you realign the yeah, uh, yeah and and be able to eventually get a heads up display in this. So I, the concept is good. We're just early stages. Yeah. Early stages. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. Great concept. We'll see. We'll have to see where it goes for sure. So let's jump to this next one, which is also very interesting.